Hello, everyone, and welcome to um, Los Angeles Public Library, uh, Central Library. My name is Wendy Westgate, and I'm part of Los Angeles Public Library's LA Made team. LA Made is a series of cultural programs funded by the National Endowment for the Humanities. And in our fourth current season, there are 165 educational and entertaining programs for you to choose from. And now to introduce today's program, I want to bring Miri Coral to the stage. Miri is a passionate advocate for Yiddish, which she has been exercising for over 20 years as an educator, international speaker, published poet and translator, and producer. Miri is a continuing lecturer in Yiddish at UCLA and is the founding director of the California Institute for Yiddish Culture and Language. And she also happens to be my Yiddish teacher. Please give a warm welcome to Miri. Shalom Aleichem, everyone. <laughs> So you'll, you'll be probably astonished to know that Yiddish has appeared on this stage a number of times. Uh, first in 1998, when there was a, a big festival downtown uh, celebrating Yiddish culture. And uh, I brought to the stage two Yiddish poets and one novelist, uh, Moshe Shklar, Pini Plotkin, Shmuel Bat. Uh, and we presented their works in Yiddish and in English. So that was a, the inaugural event for Yiddish here. Um, they unfortunately have passed to a better world somewhere, but a couple of their interviews are available uh, on our website, yiddishinstitute.org, so you can hear them in their beautiful native Yiddish language. But Yiddish still lives here, and in many, many astonishing places all over the world. And yet again on this stage, thanks to Wendy Westgate, whose love for her own heritage culture and respect and valuing of all cultures helps bring the dazzling array of LA-made programs to fruition. The library and the Yiddish Institute believe this truth recently best described in a New York Times article by Ligaya Mishant as follows. When a language is no longer spoken, we lose not just words, but possibilities, a sense of what we are capable of in our power of language and gives names to the things that surround us and through naming to change them. And speaking of possibilities, we have a great show for you today. I'd like to first introduce our pianist, Sasha DuPont. Yes. And now it's truly a great honor to introduce my longstanding colleague and good friend who is not only a wonderful actor of both deeply serious and far from serious theater. Uh, he's a magician, a Yiddish theater workshop leader, a gifted translator, and also the venerable head of the culture, the Kultur for uh, Yiddish uh, Congress, sorry, the Congress for Yiddish culture, I'm mixing Yiddish and uh, English now, uh, in New York. So how a goy from Missouri ever dreamt of becoming such a Yiddishist, which is a person who's involved in disseminating Yiddish culture, I don't really know, uh, although he's explained it to me at least 10 times. Uh, but I have to tell you that the rest of us in this Quixotic field are eternally grateful for his helping to reinvent and re-enliven Yiddish culture. Without such reinvention, a culture dies. So let me please introduce someone. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm sorry to have to tell you that there has been an unfortunate incident. Sean Baker will not be able to make it today. He broke a nail. <laughs> However, I went out to Fifth Street and I was able to find a lady who assured me she knows how to entertain people all at once. So for the first time ever, please welcome to our stage, Miss Mitzi Manna. Oh, guten Nachmittag, Guy Halleman. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How delightful to see you all here. It's so completely unexpected. <laughs> you know, oh, and look, he's here. I just met him in the lavatory. You meet so many interesting people <laughs> in the men's room of the Los Angeles Public Library. Lome machen a selfie. You're traveling stag tonight. I am. Very nice. Oh, you too. Ying and Anton. Young poetess. It means so much to me to have young people here with us today. Now I know. What's that? I've got a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> I got more than that, darling, but <laughs> we'll talk later. You might be a little bit disappointed that Shane Baker couldn't make it, but life is full of surprises. You never know what you're going to get or how things will turn out or whom you'll meet. I'm reminded of a poem by a great Yiddish poet, Anna Margolin, born Rosa Lebensbaum in White Russia. She left the shtetl because she was from a religious family and she wanted to find her own way in life. She traveled through Europe and came to America. On her way, she stopped, I don't know, in the Louvre, in the British Museum, on Musee Insel in Berlin. And there, she saw wonders that she could never have imagined. She saw amphorae depicting the Greek symposia, young men all sweating and working out together and discussing philosophy. And then her eye turned to a strigil, a strigil, that's the implement that the athlete's assistant uses to scrape the oil and sweat and dirt off of the athlete when he's won his race. She looked at that strigil. She wanted to lick that strigil. <laughs> and then her eyes fell upon a bust, no head, no arms, no legs, kind of like the apps on our phones today. And she was fascinated. And when she came to America, she wrote a poem about it, this young Jewish girl from the shtetl, imagining 5,000 years of history from the other side. Not from her Jewish world, not from her woman's world but a completely different perspective. She sent it to a newspaper to publish, and they said, aha, uh -huh, Anna Margolin, we know this is a pseudonym because no woman could write a poem like this. Well, she did, and it goes a little like this. Actually, it goes exactly like this. Ich bin given amol a jingling, gehört in portico Sokraten, Es hat mein Busenfreund, mein Liebling, gehat dem schönsten Tors in Aten. Und dann gewesen Cäsar und eine helle Welt gebeut von Marmor, ich der Letzter. Und war ein Weib, mir ist der Welt, mein stolze Schwester. In Rosenkranz beim Wein, gehört in heuchmutigen Frieden, wegen Schwachling von Nazareth <laughs> und wilde Meises wegen Jeden. Yes, strange tales of Jews, and you all are here today to get a strange tale. And I'm going to share my strange tale with you. Well, you know, we said a little bit confusing, a little bit disappointing to have the program change so quickly. 
But everything's changing so quickly, as quickly as the signs on lavatory doors these days. <laughs> In Blois Ains, Weisich auf Sicher, I know one thing for sure. Sasha. The ganze Welt is a theater. In Miralis and in the Akjorn. Fierich git mein Wolle Ois. Herich take a fan applause. In the Royalum sits in Freitag on a sheer. The ganze Welt is a theater. Oh, if there be a spiel, ich schein von Juren. In wie ich se oi set ihr, weil ich mach na probier weisen wie ihr seid. Ois fan mir. Now this is the point where we normally use Molly Pecan's recitation about a typical Yiddish theater crowd. However, this weekend marks the 200th birthday of Walt Whitman. So I figured, oh, go right ahead. <laughs> At least one literati in the house. And I figured that it would be appropriate to substitute in Walt Whitman's description of a typical Yiddish theater crowd. <laughs> ich bin der Dichter von dem Kerper und ich bin der Dichter von der Neschome. Ich bin der Dichter von der Freude, also gut wie von einem Mann. Und ich sag, Es ist so also gut zu seiner Freude, wie es ist zu seiner Mann. Durch mir viel lange Stimme Stimmes, Stimmes von unendliche Deures von Knecht, Stimmes von Gassenfreu und Unversehenischen, Stimmes von Kranke und Verzweifelte, Stimmes von Ganovem und Karlekes, durch mir verborgene Stimmes. Stimmes von Geschlecht und von Taive. Yes, the voices of sex and of desire. You know, your voices. The ganze Welt is a theater. Weil es dem, wo spielt in a Komedie. Es spielt a jeder kleinen Greus, since es wie a Cholumbloys, weil der Vorhang fällt und dann ist alles heus. The ganze Welt is a theater. Weet ze dem was spielt in a tragedie? In em spiel er Volk zu machen, darf man machen, Menschen lachen, dann verdient man dem Applaus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Now, as I say, I wanted to give you my tale. And it goes back a ways, how I became the actress that I am today. I remember when I was just a girl or a young woman. It's confusing figuring that out at a certain point. <laughs> but I think now of another poem, a poem by one of the great Yiddish writers of both prose and poetry, a man who started out in the old country, came to New York, and then wound up in L.A., where he died and was buried. Yes, L.A. hot and bagroben. <laughs> Someone understands a bissel Yiddish. Lamed Shapiro. It's almost as if he wrote this one for me. Zu dreizen Jahr wird a jingle bar mitzwe. A Mädel wird a Freu. Sie mir umruhig, sie mir schlecht und ich kann keinem nicht sagen, mit mich von Häuser aus jagen und mit Recht. A selche Chaläumes. Mir dacht sich, ich flieh. Ich flieh von der Erde auf die Dächer. Ich gib sich a Schwung und ich flieh nach Hecher und lande zurück auf den Groß. Auf die Knie. Auf die Knie? <lacht> Mir dacht sich, ich bin in der Fremd. Mir dacht sich, ich bin zwischen Menschen. Sie reden, 
Sie spaßen, sie lachen, sie tun verschiedene Sachen und gucken auf mir Sachen nicht tun. Ich probiere die Knie zu verdecken, nur auf der Hemd verdächtige Flecken. Die Mama, sie guckt mir noch die letzte Text, sie guckt mir noch die letzte Wochen und der Blick in ihre Augen ist scharf wie mild und schmächeln die Kasoi. Sie ist zwischen uns wie ein ungesteifter Beugen. Und ich bin krank. Und ich bin krank. Und ich kann keinem nicht aussagen, bis ich kann mehr nicht vertragen, das, was es plockt mich so also lang. Und ich sage, Mama, ich bin krank. Sie hat mir gegeben ein Pätschel, also ein Pätschel, also wie ein Kusch. Und gesagt zu mir, also ich beloschen Jiddisch. Nicht Schrecksach, Kind. Von heint mal an wird schon sein, also jeden Kuhdisch. Er <lacht> ist gedauernd froh, ma floschen Kuhdisch. Ein einzig Wort, Schechiano. Thank you so much for showing how intelligent you are with your applause. And I'll ask, however, that you not laugh, just intellectual nods <laughs> will do. This is a highbrow program for classy people. Well, that was some time ago. I'll not say how long, but you'd never guess, I can assure you. And now, here you see me today, trying to make my way as a single woman, working. And it's not easy, no. <laughs> I think of another song by Lola Fulman and Itzhak Perlov that describes the plight of the working woman. Maestro. Ich bin ein Mädel in die Huren, weh es mir in Och. Ich scheiert hab wie Latte Hemder, du a ganze Woche. Mein Madame ist nicht zufrieden, ständig schreit sie noch. Schlepp ich bald schon in 40 Jahren dem Joch. Oi, weh, die Juren stehen nicht. In ich hopf in dem Wehen nicht. Soll sein, schon auf was sehen nicht. I've been no Raman, boy, that is his rinter, the hip of black and air, so leer them copper deck me, set bold, cut sight nicht glück me, then so glick lock sein. Oh, ich seh, wie Mögen kriegen Männers Chaie skate mir aus, wenn Kinder kriegen mir die Eugen Arsch, wenn Kopper reus. Auf der Ganke sitzen Mames, Kinder auf dem Scheiß. Ah, der Rabe kicken halb es aus. Oi, weh, die Juren stehen nicht. In ihr der Finn hab wehen nicht. Soll sein, schein auf was sehen nicht. Ah, bin nur ein Mann. Oi, Gott im Himmel, in der die Kippe flecken er. Soll er dem Kopf verdecken mir. Set bald, Gott sei Dank nicht glück mir, wenn ich soll glücklich sein. Soll auf Billy sein und allem neu mit Kindern ein. Soll auf mir ein schlimmes Allen, ich sag mal Rachem sein. Gott auch schon genick in Leben, wo ich gelitten Pein. Lass mich in ein Becher trinken Wein. Hoi, wei, die Juren stehen nicht. In ihr der Finn ob wehen ist. Soll sein, schein auf was sehen ich, hab ich nur am Mann, euer Beine schall eulem hinter, die Kippe flecken er. Soll er dem Kopf verdecken mir, set bald, Gott sei Dank nicht flecken mir, wenn ich soll glücklich sein, in Scheu. Ah, thank, ah, thank. Now, 
that does raise a little dilemma. You know, figuring out how one finds satisfaction in life. That poor woman sings of finding a man, but some become a bit more political. Well, I mean, we see people all over the place who don't seem to know exactly where they are in the world. They fall lower and lower until they wind up in a psychiatric intake interview. An interview at a police... Oh, you've been. <laughs> An interview at a police desk. And Rainer Maria Rilke wrote a poem that reflects just such a situation of a disappointed young woman, disappointed in life, lost in her way, and who knows what's up with her. So he wrote it in German, Wahnsinn, which we'll not use today. We'll use instead of Rainier Maria Rilke's German, Itzik Maria Munger's Yiddish. And you can follow along in someone's English, if you're so inclined. In that police station, in that psychiatric hospital, wherever it is, the tracht und tracht. Ich bin, ich bin. Wer bist du, Marie? Hamalke bin ich, Hakinniken, fällt vor mir auf die Knie. Sie weint. Ich bin gewähnt. Gewähnt. Wer bist du gewähnt, Marie? Oh, Herr kein Kind, der schrocken und klein, bleich und erschlocken mein Blick. Geworden ist von einem Bettlerkind, der Malke, vor welchem ich kniet? Weil anders ist als ein Rum, ein Rum. Wie ein Schein von Bettlerlied. Ah, dich hat der Cholm groß gemacht. Der Zähl, wie das geschehen, a Nacht. A Nacht, a wunderliche Nacht. Und also bekannt aus der Sehn. Die, die Gassen wie Fiedlen, ahum, ahum. Ich tanze, aber reuchte. Ich flieh, die Augen verrissen zu die Sterne, ruf. Marie, Melodie, Melodie. Die Menschen der Schrockene bei der Wand, die Eugen mit Pachet beglanzt. Als euch greu sie doch nur erkennigen, was tanzt die Bergassen, entanzt. Well, from that poem we might well get the phrase, get real, Mary. <laughs> But what do you do? A fallen queen, so sad. Do you make a revolt? Well, you do if your Kurt Weil and Bertolt Brecht wrote the Three Penny Opera, and especially if you're Michael Wex, the author of Born to Quetch, <laughs> who decided to put this song about revolution into Yiddish for me to use. Let's see how it goes. Bra boys, I said, mein Vieh war scheuß die Gläser in verjeden verbettos Bett. In ihr gibt mir a Penny, in ihr bedank euch go schnell. In ihr seht meine Kodos, wie sie kodet der Hotel. In ihr weiß nicht, mit wem ihr hier redt. In ihr weiß nicht, mit wem ihr hier redt. Ober ein Tag wird sich herren a Geschrei, du in Hafen in me freck. Was ist das für ein Geschrei? Und ihr seht, wie ich zu schmeichel bei den Gläser. Und ihr fragt, wo schmeichelst du, Lackey? In ein Schiff mit acht Segeln und mit 50 Kanonen wird liegen in Port. Man sagt, wie schob deine Gläser, mein Kind, in mir warft mir den Penny a hin. In der Penny wird genommen, in das Bett wird gemacht, keiner wird in ihm nicht schlafen, in der o Nacht. In der Weste war denn noch nicht, wer ich bin. In der Weste war denn noch nicht, wer ich bin. 
Hin in der Nacht wird sach Herren a gebrumm dort in Hafen in me Freck, wo sie dus war a gebrumm und me seht wie ich steh hinter dem Fenster und me Freck, wo schmeichelst das euch Krim? In die Schiff mit acht Segeln, in mit fünfzig Kanonen wird beschissen die Stuhl. In Swellen kommen Hände zum Mittig auf Land, wo Swellen in die Schutten treten. In Chappen jeden einem bei jed wie der Tier. Ich schließen sie in Keiten, in Brengen zu mir. Mich fragen, welche soll mir täten? Mich fragen, welche soll mir täten? In in jenem Mittag wird es still sein beim Hafen, wenn mir fragt mich, Wer es starben ist, und dann wird ihr Herren, wie ich sag, alle. In Asa Kopf, Altar, Rupp, sag ich, oi wei. In die Schiff mit acht Segeln, in mit fünfzig Kanonen, wird werden Ella mit mir. Yes, so some find their way with politics and revolution. Others find their way with love. Some find a way to put them together. I think now of Emma Goldman. That girl, oh, the same gal. How do you like that? <laughs> love you, darling. This is my show. <laughs> I think now of Emma Goldman, that great revolutionary and anarchist, who, while she was out on the streets, helping women, passing out birth control pamphlets at a time when it was illegal to send them through the mails. And when she was arrested for that, put the birth control pamphlets inside of a baby carriage and took them to the park that way to distribute. She was also an advocate for free love. Free, no, no one applauds that. Well, <laughs> you're not going to like this next number very well. But that's all right. We're going to do it anyway. Well, you know what? Maybe we won't. Maybe instead we'll do a kusha, a clean song. I want to do a clean song. So, no. Where are your minds, people? This is, this is a show on a high level. So we'll stay there and we'll do a clean song about a woman's fat. There we go. Right there. You know what this is, ma'am? Uh, yeah, a Chinese. Oh, what's that you say? Oh, I, not to me. Yes, yes. In Yiddish, it's called a fucker. That's correct. <laughs> we call it a fan, but in Yiddish, it's known as a fucker. And with a fucker, of course, you fuck. <laughs> so, <clears throat> it is very warm up here on the stage, I have to tell you, despite the LED lights. So, I'm going to sing you a clean Yiddish song about my fucker. And the chorus, we're not translating for you. It's just about how everybody likes to fuck. Who wouldn't want to fuck? You'll understand that. And the rest of it, we'll do kind of half English, half Yiddish. Or, well, you'll see what I mean. But a hoss is a machaya, yeah? I'm so glad I brought my big black fucker with me today. And, uh, Sasha, you got anything like a kind of uh, Latin beat to give me? Wochen, Wochen, in the Villas Nitz. Wochen, Wochen, while it is as I get. It is then and of Wochen's verschieden, the grosse, the kleine and the klein. No, so gach menschen, jeder, jeder, ne. For Wochen, so it is nicht get allein. Hoi, Wochen, Wochen, in the Villas Nitz. Fachen, fachen, whilst his as I get in English. There are different types of fuckers too. Some are big, some are small. Don't take it personal. I'm telling you, every Jewess and Jew, fucking all alone is no good at all. Fachen, 
Fachen, ey, in wer will es nicht? Ei, 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 Fachen, Fachen, weil's ist auch so geht. A woman on the porch, she sits, his haste, oi, wie sie schwitzt. The man says, there's a fan on the shelf. Take it down and go fuck yourself. Fachen, Fachen. In wer will es nicht? Ei, 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 fachen, fachen, was ist das so geht? I did say it's hot up here on the stage, so we'll just... Uh, I'll just I'll get out this one. Oh, it's a little red and engorged. I should probably have it looked at now. Uh, Now, a fuck is a fire in the Romanian tongue. And back in mine state of yards, to a fire they send a couple of firemen strong. And they fuck that fucker all night long. Fucking, fucking, in the village net. Fucking, fucking, everybody, whilst he's out so I get. Come on. Fucking, fucking, in the village net. I, 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 fucking. Thank you, thank you, you're so kind. Of course, one friend of mine, an advocate of free love, told me towards the end of her long life that one must not chase the easy pleasures because they bring only temporary satisfaction. And so I decided to become a bit more respectable. And I went looking for love. Someone to stay with me, to cherish me, to, to give me his name. I went to a mixer. I went to a minute dating series. And finally, at an old-fashioned dance, I think I found him. I think I found true love. It's so beautiful when you step into the room and meet someone's eyes all across the way and find that lasting solution. I'll never forget it. Ach, jene nacht, jene glicklache, freilache nacht. Gott freid und ein Schier war ins Beten gebracht. Zum ersten Mal, wenn ich auf dich dort in der Sein gespielt hat, dann die Musik war so schön. Zwei junge Herzen mir seinen Gewinn, Liebesgefühl im schildigen Rhein, gedrückt aus dem mich als euch zärtlich zu dir, was auch ein geliebt bald in dir. Kam sagt der wartet von Tanz aller Reus, gefeiert der Liebe gefiel als euch Kreuz, gedenkst du die Nacht, die eine glückliche Nacht. Gedenkst du, gedenkst du, gedenkst du, geliebter meiner, ich gedenk, aber du hast an mir vergessen. Ja, in jetzt steht die Kalle, einer allein hinter der Kippe, in Wart, 
hat wach husen, was kommt schon nicht. Ja, ich sag, einer allein. Aber der Mann hat gesagt, und zwischen uns soll es bleiben. Hat unter mein Herz schon geklappt. Oh nein, Leben. Wie sagt man auf Jiddisch? Zwei Sachen kosten nicht kein Geld. Liebe und Zusagen. So it remained for me to make a decision. What do I do? Yes. You led me astray. Wir haben sich gedreht und gedreht darum, dem Tanzsaal, bis du hast mir dem Kopf verdreht. Geglichen meine Augen zu den Sternen im Himmel, meine Haare zu den Beimen, mein Leib zum Kielen, welchen groß aufdreht. Mir geschleppt als Niederiger und Niederiger, you dragged me down to my present state. And now the bride is wondering if she should drink up a glass of poison or go down to the river. Ja, as Moshe Leib Halperin put it. Mein Herr, euch behäst mir weggehen von euch. Seid sicher, ich gehe nur in Teich herein gleich. Ihr weißt doch, wie hoch ist die Williamsburg bricht. Ich warf sich von Spitz und ich brech das Genick. Ja. Und dann Wird kommen auf Fischdeputatien scheuen, empfangen mich unten, mir rund und kreuen, mit goldenen Schuppen und Perl baziert. Und dann wird kommen, französisch frisiert, ein Mädel, halb Fisch. Und sie wird aufreißen, ein gläsene Tier. Und euch rufen euch in a glücklicher Schau, Mein teure Schwester mit Simana ist da. But then I remembered. They say that if you find yourself in a folk tale, you must never, but never, go down to the river. So the lonely bride instead turned her eyes towards the city. Und wir haben gehilcht, meine Absassen, auf die kalte, nasse Bruchsteine von der Ledige von Neppelter Stuart. And as my heels echoed down the cold, wet cobblestones of the empty, foggy city, I heard from a door gaiety and laughter, sounds of music and happiness. I had to see what it was. I stopped my trip to the apothecary, and I poked my nose inside that door from which the lights were gleaming, and I saw Yiddish theater. Sasha, would you give us a little of that music from the Yiddish theater while I powder my nose?
She said, wow, did you hear her? <laughs> Just a little something I picked up, you know. <laughs> oh, yes, I do feel pretty and I feel witty and gay, and it's because of all of you that I can feel this way. I found my way in the Yiddish theater. I found the happiness. I found the completion that I could not find in any other aspect of life. And now, I should like to share with you one of my great hits from the Yiddish stage. And, uh, well, you'll follow along there if you have any pro. Gosh, that's good looking. Just let me spin once more. It's a tragic tale of a young woman who tries to find completion in a way that doesn't work. It could have been my own story had I not found the Yiddish stage. A Mädel schein und umschuldig fin Urm entstand, blien wie a schöne Blum. Gitz ach über zehn Reichen Mann in Hand, weil sie durst noch Glanz und Ruhm. Er der Reiche kauft ihr Umschuld für a Samet Kleid, ihr Liebe für a Seidenhemd. Er stillt sein Leidenschaft, trinkt euch ihr Lebenskraft, und dann wird er zu ihr gut fremd. Somit in Zeit, kann er nicht verheilen, die Schmerzen in Leid, wenn kranke Seelen, wie bitter klugend, verkäuft die Tugend, was spielt ihr Jugend? Was sammelt in Seid? Wo steigen Seiten? Sie bringen bloß Leiden. Ihr weiß die Umschuld. Schneiden sie zum Zeit. A billige Kleidel, nur ein ehrlich Mädel. Das ist mehr geschätzt bei Leid, wie sammelt in Seid. Well, don't you know? Der Ambulanz in Hospital hat spät bei Nacht gebracht ein Mädel, schön baziert. Gift zu trinken hat der Schicksal ihr gebracht, weil ein reicher Mann hat sie verführt. In Samet in den Seid ist sie gewein gekleid, ihr Punem neber blast wie kreid. Wenn die Nacht dort dem Tug der Sen Ihr sie schon teut gewähnt, a Korben versammelt in Seid. Sammelt in Seid, kann er nicht verheilen, die Schmerzen in Leid, wenn kranke Seelen stand up. Verkäufe die Tugend, verspielt ihre Jugend, versammelt in Seid. Lauren Bacall was Jewish, was Zeugen Seiden, sie bringen bloß Leiden, ihr weiß die Umschuld, schneiden sie zum Zeit. Paar billige Kleidel, nur ein ehrlich Mädel, das is mehr geschätzt bei Leid wie Samet in Zeit. A billige Kleidel, nur ein ehrlich Mädel, das is mehr geschätzt bei Leid. Oh, yeah. Well, just a second. I want to take that's kind of bothering. 
something I said, or was that my glaucoma? <laughs> just want to, I can't get the little thing out. It's sticking just to, screw it. <laughs> uh, are you using that? Let me try. No, you can have it. There we go. That's very nice. It's shy. I don't know what that is, but put it up there. Oh, yes. Now, as I said, <laughs> that was one of my great hits in the Yiddish theater. But before we go, I wanted to share you the tale of another great hit from the Yiddish theater, one that some of you might recognize. In fact, it's still popular today. And if you were watching the Russian ice skating team a Winter Olympics ago, you would have heard this very melody being used. But there's a story behind the song. I wanted to share it with you. One of the women who helped turn me into the actress that I am today, Lyuba Kadison, a name that I'm sure most of you don't remember. Well, she was appearing on Second Avenue in the 1930s in a play called Der Katerinschik. Wasn't your mother in that as well? Yes. Your father. I knew your mother. Uh, yeah, and uh, she was playing, a, well, we don't say gypsy fortune teller these days because it's really not correct, but I don't know how else to say it, a Roma fortune teller. I mean, she wasn't even really a gypsy. She was a Jewish girl, pretend, never mind. Anyway, a gypsy fortune teller who's in love with the hero of the play, and she wants him, and he wants her. But he comes into her parlor to have his fortune read, and she sees in his cards that he's in love with someone else. Yes, Verpas <laughs> Kutnyak. And she is to be left alone. What does one do with that? Does one bear a lifetime of resentment? It's unclear. In any event, the composers El Shanetsky and the lyricist Tauber wrote for Lyuba at that point a standard Yiddish theater love song like so many that you might have heard at any other given time in a play there on Second Avenue. And Lyuba, the great trained actress and the great literary soul that she was, said, this will never do. I need something special to the situation. Give me a night to think about it. So she went home, and she wrote out that scene that we've just discussed, and she thought, what would my character do? What would my character say? So let us go back to Second Avenue in the 1930s hmm? and step inside that theater and imagine that the young man with whom the fortune teller is in love has just left the stage. She is alone and tries to read her own fortune. What happens? Well, the orchestra plays. <laughs> Ich bin jetzt allein geblieben mit mein Bankschaft, mit mein Weh. Ich hab die Kurten abgeklippen, in er sich mein Glück in See. Er hat mich verbitten auf ein Zweiter. Mein große Liebe kann er nicht verstehen. Mit Jänner zieht der Kippe geht er. In ihr, er bleibt doch heldend in der Leid. Nur wer sie darf die Kurt nur Im Sist, ob ihr gewahrt, gegart. Mein Jugend liegt schon dort bei Gruben. Mein Masel hat mich abgenagt. Nor was it then, 
Ich hab dich zu viel lieb. Ich trug auf dir kein Hass. Ich hab dich zu viel lieb. Zu sein auf dir in Kass. Ich hab dich zu viel lieb. Zu sein auf dir Gorbe. Anar ich heiß. Ich weiß, ich hab dich lieb. You know, I sent him a text message last night and he hasn't answered. And it says he read it. He read it. I know. Let me just send him a little note to see if that might not wake him up. <laughs> There we go. Maybe it'll remind him that it's okay to be in touch, that I'm not angry with him. So, gay geliebter, ich los dich gehen, soll dir sein mit Glück. Ich will nur von Weitem stehen, dir benchen mit mein Blick. Und wenn die Pein mein Herz wird drücken, die Lippen verbissen, Will ich dir nicht kein Klollen oder ein Broche schicken? Ja. Soll dir Gott mit jener beglicken? Wer weiß, sie ist mir öfter nicht beschert. In mein Stamme hab ich dir gar nicht der Wert. Du geh, Geliebter, geh, meine Komme. Soll dich nicht darren mein Herz. Meine Schomme, send! Ich hab dich zu viel lieb. Ich trug auf dir kein Hass. Ich hab dich zu viel lieb. Zu sein auf dir in Kass. Ich hab dich zu viel lieb. Zu sein auf dir Gurbeis. Und nach ich heiß. Ich weiß. Nur ich hab dich lieb. Hab dir mein Leben mal weggegeben. Mein Herz, euch meine Schumme. Ihr bin krank, nur mein Gedank. Tracht nicht für eine Kome. Tracht nicht. Ich hab dich zu viel lieb. Zu sein auf dir Gurbeis, an nahr ich heißt. <lacht> ich weiß. Nur ich hab dich lieb. Thank you so very much, dear friends. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sasha Dupont on the piano. Available for parties, weddings, accompaniments, as you like. I thank some special people who turned out. Mike Burston, star of the Yiddish stage and screen, currently playing a vampire rabbi. Among other things, you wouldn't think it to look at him, Mike. Thank you for coming. A name that many of you will not recognize, but has been a stalwart of Yiddish culture in Los Angeles for years and years. A fine Yiddish actress, a great intellectual and supporter of culture, who, we say in Yiddish, she, she made a real effort to come today. And name might not means something to everyone here, but to some of you, it's one of the dearest names we know, Sabelle Bender. You can give her a hand. Love you, darling. Thank you. The rest of you, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here. Maybe you got lost. I don't know. But thank you for, oh, 
Mr. Opatoshu is here too, in that safari jacket I love, Dan Opatoshu. <laughs> Lovely. But thank you so much for coming out, for hearing a Yiddish word. I hope you enjoyed yourselves as much as we did. Thank you to uh, Miri Coral of CIYCL and to Wendy Westgate of the library for arranging it. Thank you for Russell and Chad up in the booth. Look for it on your local uh, community channel at some point in the distant future. And until we meet again, so sein auf Adam.